I'm almost done here. Would hate to see the bottom of my bowl. <laughs> <laughs> so glad you like it. Me and my Sabo is making magic. I bet you. Wonderful you're... magic with wonderful woman. Oh, hush, Sabo. You're making me blush. Oh, aren't you guys the cutest? Do you ever miss Kingsport? Do you ever miss Kingsport Bay? Of course I do. Morobo's been cutting off huge parts of the city, and Kingsport is one of them. With no trains and almost the whole harbor shut down, so much as getting there now is real difficult. Oh man, miss the old charter. Well, if we ever get rid of Morobo, maybe one day we can all go back. I sure hope so, Makina. Catch you later, guys. Take care, Buona. Right. Hey, what's that funny thing? Creepy bunny. Stop it, Buona. You're draining the batteries. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, lady, what's that big blue thing? Is that a tire? Well, getting a hold of Madiagla here in the city has been difficult. So we had to move into some more experimental cooking. Oh. Oh, that's what's in this kitchen. Hey, man, how's the food? It's bloody marvelous. It Never had noodles like enough. this before. As long as the noodles keep coming, I ain't budging. Those pesky bulldozers are just gonna have to run me over. Yeah. Well, I hope you feel nice and see people moving through the tires. Sankara Town is just Those the way I remember two. it. Oh, and it still smells delicious. Creepy. No way. Creepy. Hi, mister. My mommy makes the best juice in Sankara Town. You want to try some? You look friendly. You can have a glass for free if you want. Sweetie, I told you. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. I think everyone who's friendly should have free juice. Ah. Did you like it? Mmm, this is delicious! Yeah, mommy makes the best juice, doesn't she? She's an amazing I woman. Being <laughs> this room. Sure is. Thank you. We... You want more? Listen, sweetie, we can't Maybe just no give away free juice else, to everyone who's like nice that. to us. Why not? Because of the eviction, sweetie. We're about to get thrown out on the street. We need the money, sweetie. I don't care about money. I care about friendliness. You're friendly, aren't you, mister? Sweetie! My mommy doesn't have a boyfriend. I think she likes you. Sweetie, please! <laughs> it's good. Like grill pipe. We'll do that day. You're gonna demolish Sankara Town, man. You loco, man. Sir, back away from the perimeter. You back away, man. I'm not afraid of you, man. Come here, man. I'll give you a piece of this. <laughs> This is Gamma Squadron requesting permission to open fire. Yeah, yeah, that's right, man. You call mama. You call mama, you big chicken. Call me. Sir, there's a small, dog-like man disturbing the barricades. Hey, who are you calling dog-like, Mr. Poodleface? No, no, he's not causing any damage. Oh, you want to see damage, man? You asked for it. <sighs> yes, sir. Understood. Black belt, man. Back off, or I'm gonna bring the pain, man. Hey, the mallet. What a ride. As you can see, there is a lot of commotion here in Sankara Town right now. Let's get a word from one of the protesters here at the barricades. Excuse me, sir. What exactly are you demanding from the government? 
Biedermann, free cheese for everyone. <laughs> Jeez. Wait, what? Are you sure? Never been more certain in all my life. <laughs> but that's not. Hey, is is this live? Yes, this is A N N eight live at eleven. Oh, cool. Oh, can I say hi to my friend? No, I. Hey, what's he? Kito. Everyone, I'm on TV. And cut. <sighs> Great choice, Gabby. You had to pick a complete dimwit to interview, didn't you? Hey, it ain't my hey. fault. This assignment is complete bogus. It's not like we're reporting anything that even resembles the truth anyways. Let's take a five-minute break and then do the last segment. <sighs> All right. Nice camera. Can I borrow it real quick? Beat it. I'm trying to work here. All right, All right, then. All right, then. I don't think they'd be interested in that. <laughs> I don't think this guy needs to be pushed any further. <laughs> that would be a great way to get tasered. I think I'll just yeah. not do that, thanks. Why the heck not? I don't need a honk on that. I don't need a honk. Hey, can I be on TV again? Fun to be on camera is... Sorry, man. Segment's over. We're on our break now. My name's Gabby. Who are you? I'm Buana. Cool. So what's up, Buana? You know Professor Moorhead? Moorhead? The Underland expert? Yep. <laughs> you mean the conspiracy nut, right? Yeah, that's him. Can you help me find him? <laughs> no dice. The professor disappeared like two weeks back. We did a segment on that. No big news. Why'd you ask? Two weeks back. I have back. to bring him this. Hey, that's microfilm, Pardon just me. like our camera. What's on it? It's got top secret data about the power company's plan to destroy Saint Armando. Oh yeah, secret project to destroy Saint Armando. Ooh, yeah, sure, right. Hey, I wasn't talking to you, meat stick. <laughs> Gabby, you can't be taking this fume head seriously. You kidding? This could be the scoop I've been waiting for, man. Let's ditch this farce of an assignment and go make some real news. Listen, Gabby, you're not making real news because you're not a real journalist. What the hell are you talking about, man? Your job is to look pretty in front of the camera and say what the network wants you to say. Stick to Just what like you know, news okay? Reporters. Hell no, that ain't okay. That bullshit is over, man. This could be my breakthrough. I'm out of here. No. You aren't, Gabby. We're partners. And we're in this crap together, all right? You bail on me, and I'll have them revoke your license so hard, you'll never stand in front of a camera again. After we wrap this last bit of shooting, you can go interview a unicorn so far as I care, but as long as I'm still on this assignment, <laughs> Excuse me. so are you. <sighs> Sorry about Mr. Lapdog here. Looks hmm. like I'm stuck as long as he's still on the job. Oh man. What the hell was that? <laughs> Beats me, man. Must have been one of those noisy protesters. Yes. <laughs> oh hell. That loud noise blew my microphone. <sighs> Looks like we're gonna have to call this a wrap after all. <laughs> right on, Barna. Now, let's go check out that microfilm. Ooh. Right this way. Hey, Wasi. I brought a friend. Hey, it's that reporter from the news. Free. Whoa, easy now, cowboy. I'm just doing my job here. Your job? <laughs> you mean spreading government propaganda? Y'all telling lies to keep us all down. And now you're gonna Hunky spread dirt. lies about the resistance rockers? Resistance rockers? Listen, Colonel Crackpot, I couldn't care less about you and your lame-ass garage band. I'm here for a bigger story. Ooh, now you better watch your mouth, girl. Yeah, this ain't no little garage band. It's a rock and roll revolution, man. Our music's gonna change the world. Change the world sure with is. rock and roll, huh? That's hilarious. Mm, I'm glad we brought the camera. You guys would fit right in on Comedy Hour. Hey, Sarge, let me put a couple of bullets in her. See how funny she thinks that is. Don't waste oh, your oh. ammo. She ain't worth it. I don't 
what kind of nut jobs are you hanging out with, man? Just rig the video so I can get out of here. Evil. Okay, I've connected the camera to the TV. Guys, look here! Help me. Whoa. Man, that's some serious business right there. See? We've got to work together, or they're gonna burn this city to the ground. This is... this is exactly what Professor Moorhead was talking about. I thought yeah. he was a complete lunatic. What Network made me cut his theories from the story. It all sounded crazy. I had no idea. Told you, fool. You're a tool of the government. Ain't got no backbone to stand up for the truth. All right, that's it. I'm out of here. Damn straight you're out of here. Gabby, wait! Yeah, go on back to your network execs and tell them we don't want no part of their lives. The revolution will not be televised, sister. Man, what a bonehead. Where did you find that guy? <laughs> On the streets. I know he can be kind of maxed out sometimes. Yeah, to say the least. Worst thing is, oh, yeah. he's right. Huh? The network is censoring all of our news stories. Every single word broadcast over the Armando News Network is controlled by the people above. I've had enough of spreading this bullshit propaganda. Get in the car. I need to show you something. First Lena, now Gabby. Alright, we're here. This is Agibo University, where the professor used to work. If you're serious about finding him, this should be a good place to start looking. I'm gonna get down and dirty with some real journalism, and for once, the network can't stop me. I'm going rogue. Ha! That's the spirit, Gabby! We're gonna blow this story wide open, Buana. You have Ooh. my word. He's leaving me here. So this is the university where Professor Moorhead works. I wonder if he's hiding in there somewhere. Probably in the basement. Oh, oh man, it's locked. Yeah. Right, escape. Got it. Yeah. Oh, this must be where the university store all their old junk. Uh, boxes. Of, of oh, these boxes are full of magnets. I'm sure they won't mind if I borrow one. Oh, it's just... Hey, I can see all the different rooms in the university from here. This must be some kind of surveillance system. Hey, this must. Hmm. I wonder what these machines do. Pardon me. Aha! I bet this is where all the recorded surveillance footage is stored. Two weeks ago. Uh, it's hit about two weeks ago. So, be June. So, two, five, four, one. Ah, oh, how many days in June? Hey, June, thirty. We are twenty-first. Okay. Of interest here. Not enough interest. Hmm. What's in these boxes? Hmm. Looks like these boxes are full of old university paperwork. I doubt Professor Moorhead is hiding in there. Hey, I can see this. 
Hmm. Yeah, so two weeks ago on the first day. So. Yep, this has got to be Lena and Moorhead's office. Pinball. Hey, it's Lena! And that must be Professor Moorhead. This must be from one of the expeditions together. Yes. It's an old article from the Armando Daily. The Key of Elders. Hmm. It's the key. Hmm. Hey, book. What's on the book? Hey, what's this? This must be Moorhead's secret underland research. Hey, sorry for that. Yakuzo, uh, or Kuzabo, the son of Arganon, was greediest of all the Thoye because of his greed. Yakuzo has ex was exiled and forced to live along among the highest branches of the great Asili chain, far above the underland. Oganon told his son that he was not to return until he had atoned for his mistakes. Okay. Uh, clock. Looks like the clock stopped when it fell down on the floor. It's stuck at 6.42. Two weeks ago, 6.42. Come on, move it. Six. Forty. Two. Of interest here. Nothing of interest here. Let's see, man. Two weeks ago, was it? Let's have to check the second one. Can't they get on my phone? Sorry, I think it's stopped. So that's why the fourteenth then. That's enough interest. The seventh. That's enough interest. Let's actually check. Could be missing. No. <laughs> Me and Kito used to have a lot of fun with these copy machines back when we were kids. But then my uh behind got way too much attention. So they sort of banned us from the print shop. Right. Oh man, sort of it's... paper. So a way. It's full of used tea bags. A piquant herbal eel bladder blend from the mysterious depths of Pango Kuba. Hmm. It's piquant, all right. Piquant and moldy. I bet old Morton from the lighthouse would have loved this. I take I'll pass, though. It's stuck at... Wow, looks like Lena and Moorhead have done a lot of reading. <laughs> 